Hi, I'm Garrett Richards, and today I'm going to be showing you pitching mechanics and what works for me. Let's take a look at how I set up. For me, I set up on the third base side just because I throw across my body and it allows me to create deception to right-handed hitters. <clears throat> so for me, I set up on the third base side. I'll start with the stretch and then we'll move on to the windup. So for me, I always have the ball in my hand just in case I have to make a pick off out of the stretch. That way I don't have to bring it out of my glove. So I'll start like this. And then for me, when I come set, I have a little bit of weight on my, on my back side, almost over the, over the back side of the rubber. Some guys tend to come set just straight up, but for me, I have to have my weight on the back side. So I'll come set on the back side with my hands in the same spot every single time. Changing this will only tip pitches for the, for the base runner to be able to steal. So I come set in the same position every time. First, the first thing that I think about when I go through my delivery is getting my load on my backside. So I'll be here. Some guys get too far back, some guys are already leaning forward. If you're leaning forward, your arm's going to drag, the ball's going to be up in the zone. If you're too far back, you're going to have to overcompensate to make the ball go down in the zone out in front. So come set. This is checkpoint one for me. It's a good load over the back side of the rubber. Second is good separation and good drive down the mound. For me, the feeling that I feel in my head is when my hands separate, the leg goes. So good load, separate, drive down the rubber. The third thing that I think about is clearing my hips, making sure my hips are square at delivery. If I cut off my hips, I'm probably going to cut the ball down in the zone. So for me, my hips being cleared, and because I throw across my body, it's very important for me to clear my hips, make sure they're square at delivery, and watch the ball out in front of my face. If I, if I can see the ball out in front of my face, I know I'm throwing it out in front, and I know I'm going to put it where I want it. So I'll do a full speed. Something like that. If you find yourself being inconsistent with your load, a good exercise to do is just to stand on the mound and just practice this. Keeping your weight on your backside and just with, with no weight at all, just touching your toe out in front. Do this for about 10 times and then you can go through your delivery. Now out of the windup. In the windup, I start a bit off center just because it's easier for me just to shift my weight and drop into the hole. Some guys start wide, some guys go over their head, but for me, it's just a simple offset. My first initial reaction is gonna be just to shift my weight to my left side, keeping the legs stiff, not too much. If you notice, I only move my foot about an inch to the left. So it's just a, it's a slight trigger that helps me shift my weight to here, but I also drop my hands down here. It's a timing mechanism for me. So I'll start about right here. As soon as that goes, this goes, which means I'll drop my foot into the, into the slot, and then it goes straight back to what I was talking about before. The windup and the stretch are virtually, virtually the same thing. It's just a starting point. So initially, you're going to shift your weight to your left side without overcompensating or throwing yourself off balance. It's just a shift, if you were just a shift in your hips. So you shift to your left side, drop your foot in the hole, come to a balance point, check point one. And then from there, ride it down the mound, throw the ball out in front. So those are my basic pitching mechanics. Now go out and practice. I'll see you at the ballpark.